All right, guys, so I don't know why people aren't talking about this enough, but we're supposed to get yet another banner coming out in just about two weeks, give or take, and it's supposed to be Frieza Saga related. So let me just explain to you guys something very quickly. We got a teaser just about a few days ago or a week, give or take, um, for the brand new Ginyu Force, right? And within that trailer, we spotted a few characters that wasn't in the game yet. And uh, this Gohan here, which is a Namek Saga Gohan, Kid Gohan to be exact, um you know was previewed now a lot of people are mistaken thinking he's already in the game truth be told this gohan this specific model is not in the game yet uh if we just take a look at all the current kid gohans we have we have four to be exact right so we have this Namek goku with the bowl cut but he has the sane armor on this one back here he has uh the bowl cut just like that one but he does not have the sane armor on he just has that piccolo Namek outfit so uh, we have that, right? And uh, so it's not this character. It's not this character's model. Now, this Gohan is completely different because this Gohan has the Namek suit on, Piccolo's outfit on, but he has long hair. He doesn't have the bowl cut. So it's not this one. We have yet another extreme one, which obviously has the Saiyan Saga, you know, um, I mean, not Saiyan Saga, the Saiyan armor with the long hair. So it's definitely not going to be this one. And then as well as this one, which has long hair and the Namek outfit. So we don't have a character, a specific Kid Gohan from the Namek Saga that has this bowl cut, like the haircut, as well as the Piccolo outfit. So this character is still to come. And, the, the, the you know, the campaign is not over yet because I saw a lot of people talking really bad stuff about this campaign. But it's not over just yet, even though we got a ton of characters, right? We got like the Ginyu Force. We, we got a good notable amount of things. So I still think we're going to get an LF or an Ultra uh, coming out in just about two weeks. So let me just show you guys really quick. It should be coming out right here on the uh, 29th, 30th, give or take towards the end of the month. Right now, we got a Mega Rising banner. But the confusion is that the Mega Rising banner usually comes out towards the end of the month so they're literally just gonna swap it right because the mega rising banner comes out at the end of the month but they're like hmm let's try something new let's see if maybe we bring out the mega rising banner and then people spend their crystals on that and then they have to spend their money on the brand new lf banner right so as opposed to spending your money on the lf banner and then not having enough money for the you know for the mega rising banner and people are like ah, i don't even need to spend on the mega rising banner because i just spent on the brand new lf so it's kind of like a smart tactics on their end this is not a thousand percent confirmed of course it's 90 percent chance i would say because we did get teaser for a brand new gohan so um <clears throat> we're gonna be talking about which characters have yet to come that's not namek saga related but really quick we also have another event that should be coming out either tonight or next weekly reset or throughout the weekend which is going to be this namek saga event it's kind of cut off but i think it's called uh uh, uh I, I can't see it's something called clash namek right so this event here, we can grab 600 uh, Chrono Crystals as well as 60 Erasers. And um, it's pretty much a type of event we currently have going on in the game right now, which is those permanent events that stays forever. But you need these characters down here, as you guys can see. This Kid Gohan, the Nail, as well as the Revival Frieza, and the brand new Zenkai Kaioken Goku, right? So we need these characters maxed out at 14 stars, or actually there's levels to it. Like there's like a certain amount of stars, and then you can go on to the next level. So... Yes, it does suck that it's a little bit gated for the newer players, but this event stays forever, so you guys can take your sweet time and then just do it as as um, as opposed to it being time gated, right? So, I mean, it's not time gated. So, we have that. Okay, so another really quick thing I want to mention is that we also got a ton of quality of life changes coming to the game. Okay, so this did not come yesterday, obviously. Um, it's it's a really weird week. I've never seen Dragon Ball Legends do this, or maybe like once before, which is specifically making two weekly resets which is very weird because all this came out monday for whatever reason the weekly reset's supposed to be tonight right now right so right now i would be coming out with leaks and then of course the brand new update would be coming out tonight for example um the um uh, the, the ultra space i'm rush you know uh, uh zenkai ultra space i'm rush and right now and we got the light yesterday so it makes no sense right just one day before the weekly reset so this could be coming out on the weekly reset or this could be coming out or some of this stuff could be coming out uh when the pvp uh, season resets which is the next weekly reset because they are changing some really really big things in, in matchmaking to be honest uh, with you guys first and foremost with matchmaking before we even get to this they are pretty much going to change how um how how you find matches right it's not going to be strictly on what let's just say your level 70 right your battle rank is 70 or your rp let's just say an rp your rp is 9000 okay because it's just the 9000 right so let's just say instead of matching another 
player that's maybe around the 9,000 mark, they're going to say, hey, we're going we're gonna to take that into account, but we're also going to be taking your win and loss ratio history into account. So if you guys aren't in, are in a losing streak, they're not just going to give you guys a, car a player that's on a crazy winning streak, right? So you, you can kind of tell where that match is going to go. Um, as opposed to, you know, of course, if you're on a winning streak, you're gonna, you're not going to fight somebody that's on a crazy losing streak. So they're going to take your match history into account and see and kind of balance it out alongside your RP, which I think is great. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So we're going to get that. Also something I don't like, um, I don't like, and I do like is, and I've mentioned this before, but, uh, they are taking out the RP out of the, as you guys can see through this top image right here, out of the matchmaking. So you guys can't see your opponent's RP. You'll know if they're higher, um, just if you guys see a pop-up called Formidable Though, meaning they're higher RP than you. And I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like that. What I do like, though, is the fact that they're changing. If you guys beat this Formidable Foe, uh, you guys will get even more RP than before, which is great. And you guys will lose less RP, which is also great. So that's a great change. I just don't like, maybe because people, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why they made this change. I, I don't like... I like the bottom change, the fact that you gain more RP if you guys beat somebody higher than you and you guys lose less RP as well. But taking out the RP to me does not make any sense, right? So we have that as well as some other small little quality of life changes as you guys can see right here. So all this should be coming out either tonight or the next weekly reset. I'm leaning more towards the next weekly reset. Now, something else that I do want to mention is that, like I said, we should be getting a brand, a brand new part two or the actual banner for the Frieza Saga. And I think it's going to be, look, there, there's a lot. Okay, look, let me show you guys really quick. So Goresh made a little list here on Twitter or, or X, whatever you guys want to call it, on characters that we could see on the next Frieza Saga Part 2 banner, right? Which is towards the end of the month, which should be here on the 30th. Um, there's a Vegeta. There's a Vegeta Goku tag, perhaps maybe a Goku and Piccolo tag with Spear Bomb Preparation Mode. Uh, force, first form Frieza to second form Frieza. Third form Frieza to final form Frieza, final form Frieza to full power Frieza, Kaioken Goku, Goku to Super Saiyan, uh, you know, Rage Goku, Kaioken Goku to Super Saiyan Goku, or just Super Saiyan Rage Goku, right? Or just a Ultra Frieza, like the background we have. So obviously, you know, these are kind of like the main characters, either Goku, Vegeta, or Frieza, one of the three, right? Whether it's an LF or a, um, or, or of course an Ultra, right? But, uh, we know we're going to get one because this Gohan was teased and yet we didn't get him yet, right? And it would be a shame for them, <clears throat> for them just to end the banner off the way they did or the, the celebration with the Ginyu Force. I love the Ginyu Force, but there's more to this, okay? So yeah, guys, um, hopefully you did enjoy the video. Hopefully this does bring out more clarity that this Gohan is not in the game. It's all of these Gohans. Instead, they don't have the pretty much the pickle outfit from the Namek Saga with the bowl cut together. That model does not exist, okay? But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.